I discovered minimalism in my mid-30s, and as a result, everything about me changed. My view of money and possessions and consumerism and advertisements and marketing and all the things that we talk about on this YouTube channel. I sat down recently and I began thinking through what are some of the key thoughts, what are some of the most inspiring and life-changing quotes that I've heard about minimalism. And I wanna make a video about them. Here you go, the seven most life-changing quotes I've heard about minimalism. Number one, maybe you don't have to own so much stuff. That was my neighbor, June. I was living in Vermont. I had wasted an entire Saturday cleaning out my garage while my five-year-old son played alone in the backyard. I began complaining to her and she responded with this simple life-changing thought. Maybe you don't have to own so much stuff if you're sick of taking so much time out of your day to take care of it. It's what sparked my journey into minimalism. Number two, Randy Elkhorn says this, every increased possession adds increased anxiety onto our lives. And it is so true. Living a minimalist life is less stressful. There are less things to worry about and take care of and clean and organize and maintain. Everything we own takes up physical space in our home and mental space in our mind. Owning less means a calmer, more peaceful life. Number three, Leo Babauta on his blog Zen Habits wrote this one time. I could go on and on, but let me just list a few of the benefits. He was talking about the benefits of a minimalist home. And it really changed my perspective on how my life could begin to improve when I own less stuff. More money and more time, more focus on the things that matter most, better example for my kids, better life for the environment. It was the single sentence that sparked my desire to learn about the benefits of owning less stuff. Number four is a quote from Charles Spurgeon, and it goes like this. You say, if I had a little more, I would be satisfied. But you make a mistake. If you are not content with what you have, you would not be satisfied if it was doubled. Very thought-provoking quote. And it really changed my view of contentment and happiness and joy and gratitude and generosity, that we get into this thinking that if we had more stuff, we'd be happier or we'd be more content or we'd be more generous. But the reality is you can find all of those things today. You don't need more to do it. And if you can't do those things now, having twice as much stuff won't help you get there. Number five, sell your possessions and give to the poor. It's a quote by Jesus. I, I don't talk a lot on this blog about my life, about my faith, but I was a pastor for 15 years. And that quote by Jesus, I think what it did for me was it began to help me understand the relationship between minimalism and generosity. That when we choose to own less, we can become more generous with our money. If we stopped chasing and accumulating physical possessions, we would have more to solve problems around the world and give to others. Number six comes from Mary Ellen Edmonds, and I don't remember where I first read it, but the quote is this, wanting less is a better blessing than having more. It changed my view really not just of what it means to have more stuff, but it began to change my view of consumerism as well. That not only do I want to own less stuff because it frees up my life for many of the things I mentioned before, generosity and peace and calm, but I want also to overcome consumerism, to no longer desire more stuff, that once we become content with what we have, that once we actually want less than we have, is when we really open up our lives to endless opportunities available to us. Seventh quote is this, minimalism is 
the intentional promotion of the things we most value and the removal of anything that distracts us from it. It's been my working definition of minimalism for over a decade. Minimalism is the intentional promotion of the things we most value by removing anything that distracts us from it. Minimalism isn't about what am I getting rid of. Minimalism is about what can I add into my life by removing unneeded possessions. It also takes minimalism beyond physical possessions. It's into how we focus our time and our habits, even our relationships. That minimalism is about promoting our values by removing distractions. I'd love to hear what quotes have most inspired you in your minimalism journey. You can leave them below in the comments. I'd look forward to reading each of them.